Okay, we're back again to talk about patterns in the casinos. Patterns and what the casinos do, the dirty tricks they use to break the patterns. Today we're going to be talking blackjack and poker. And um, this is a very simple trick that the casinos use to change up the patterns, but they don't want you to know this one. This is a really good one. I recommend that you watch this whole video because this this one's even better than the craps one that got so much uh, negative marks. But anyhow, uh, what you're looking at here is the standard shuffle for Nevada casinos and blackjack. It's shuffle, shuffle, strip, shuffle. Now we're going to go over that a couple times because this is the whole thing. People don't realize it. The casinos in Nevada, that was it. The casinos in Nevada, by regulation, have a standard shuffle that the dealers are supposed to go by. It's shuffle, shuffle, strip, shuffle. That is the standard, that is the standard shuffle. Anything deviating from that is technically illegal and that's what we're going to go into um, I haven't dealt since 2000 so it's been oh, close to 15 years since I've dealt they, this uh, this um, praying mantis was not downtown when I was dealing but I do recommend if you go to Vegas you go downtown and see this praying mantis it's uh, quite a piece of artwork but anyhow, we're going to go back to breaking patterns. Again, patterns in nature are pretty evident to most people. You look at lettuce, you look at the zebras, you look at sand dunes, you look at the there's the the measurements between trees in the forest. They, everything has a pattern. So I'm not here to argue that there that there are patterns. You're just going to have to understand there are patterns, and these patterns do go into the casinos. Um, they go into everything, stock market. Um, they go into people's lives. and <clears throat> So we'll make this simple. Blackjack, when the dealer is shuffling, again, we, he, there's a standard shuffle. He sh shuffle, shuffle, strip, shuffle. He does this all day long like a robot. Nothing ever, it's just like second nature. It's so boring, it's just just blah, blah, blah. When it gets exciting is when somebody gets on a good roll. It's called a winning streak, which we know is a pattern. And what happens is they teach you this in the downtown casinos before you can ever go to a nice casino. Back in the, back in the day, before you could get a job in a good casino, you had to learn the ropes in downtown and that's where they taught you these tricks so what happens is the players on a roll and he's winning the pit boss normally comes up behind the dealer and they don't usually whisper in your ear but they they rub your shoulders they get your attention they get the dealer's attention and, they, and the dealer knows he has to change up the shuffle and this is the dirty secret that nobody ever talks about. And I don't remember, and if you notice, if you watch the dealer shuffle, again, when everything's going smoothly and the casinos are winning and everybody's happy, you got the standard shuffle all the time. What happens is when there's somebody counting the cards or they're winning, that's when the dealer is the heat, the heat is put on a dealer by the pit boss, change up the shuffle. So then he has to the he has to put more shuffles in. He, he has to put man instead of doing shuffle shuffle, strip shuffle, the dealer may then do three shuffles, really fine shuffles with maybe two strips. Anything to change up the cycle. This is really a, a trick that's been around for many, many years. Now you say, okay, they're using shuffle machines today. Well, technically, you can still do this uh, changing up the pattern even with the shuffle machine because uh, a lot of times, I guess, the dealers just put the cards in the shuffling machine every time. But if they really wanted to change it up, 
they could actually put another hand shuffle. Before they put the cards into the automatic shuffler, they could do a real good hand shuffle. Believe you me, this changes up the patterns. And I've seen it happen a thousand times. And, um, and if the dealer is not good at changing up the shuffle, it's very simple. The pit boss will put him on break. And I know dealers who have been, who are, I know, I have known dealers who are so good at changing up the shuffle that the pit boss calls them off a break. Says, go take out Jenny on number two and change up the shuffle. And he'll do it. A lot of the girls back in the day didn't know how to do the change in the shuffle. They didn't know how, they weren't very good at changing up the shuffle. So some dealers are better than others at changing up the shuffle. And um, it's a trick that uh, it's been around for a long time. Uh, most gamblers know about it, but this this video is just for the you know amateurs and new people. And I don't re I don't recommend you ever ever complaining to anybody in the casino about this. If you see this happening, you don't like it, you just get up and leave. Do not complain. I do not recommend that. And you can also watch my video on kidnapping and false imprisonment. I have a Casino Dirty Trick video about kidnapping and false imprisonment. And you probably ought to watch that if you're going to casinos a lot, getting drunk, talking too much. Um, it can happen to you. But anyhow, just have fun. And know that if, if the dealer changes up the shuffle on you, and they can do this in poker too, all you have to do is get up and leave. You don't have to complain, just leave.